It's for the DCW No Limit Championship. It is going to go for one fall with a one hour time limit. And the loser of this match must leave DCW forever. Introducing first, the challenger. Pete is from Kansas Catch, Kansas State University, weighing in at 190 pounds. Here is the number one contender, the Shamrock Shooter, Killian McMurphy! Oh, big crowd favorite here. And his opponent, accompanied to the ring by Corlin Bernard. He is from Calgary, Alberta. Weighing in at 230 pounds, here is the reigning and defending DCW No Limit Champion, the Maple Leaf Machine, Carol David Buckler, it's all on the line in this contest. No limits. Championship, and the loser leaves town. Loser leaves town. There's the title held up by a referee. Someone ought to say, well, you're no for not a bad thing. Leaving town, right? Leaving right town. That's terrible. That wasn't very nice. I don't live here. I'm a face. I'm out of here. <laughs> One fall, 60 minute time limit. This is going to be a barn burner. Here we go. Now earlier we seen Annabelle Stackhouse out here running interference for her man. And of course, you know, we're definitely going to see the shenanigans of Cortland Medard here tonight. Well, one thing about Cortland Bedard, he does highlight and accentuate the guy he comes out to the ring. He really compliments KO Storm well, and he's not the only reason that he's the New Limit champion, but he's a big reason that KO's been able to keep that title as long as he has. You are so right, David. And he has uh, got a formidable opponent tonight in the Shamrock Shooter. And these two can definitely entertain one another. But when this gets down to wrestling, Jay, the Shamrock Shooter is a top-notch wrestler. So all this goofiness around the ring, it's going to get serious at some point. And, and KO can do that. He is a champion. He has skills. But don't take the Shamrock Shooter lightly. Not to mention the fact the loser's got to leave the company. Oh, look at that. Referee. Getting into it now. Now Bedard up there, running the referee some lip. He better watch out or he's gonna get thrown out of here. Cheap pop for our official. Killing McMurphy is ready to go here. And David, as you pointed out, all this uh, playing around by KO Storm, he knows when to turn that switch on, and he certainly can go inside the ring. Oh, I mean, you know, when I was driving down here, Jay, to me, this was one of my favorite matches of the night because this really pits two guys very evenly matched. It should be a great wrestling match. Again, when you cut away all this stuff with Bedard and the whole you know, pre-match craziness, it's a really even matchup between two very talented wrestlers. It certainly is. Here we go. Reversal now. Hey, close on. Drops down. KO Storm, but got to watch out. You can't turn your back on your man. KO's right on there, raking his man, right on that top rope. Leave a nice rope burn there. One more time. Switching to reversal. And there's a big close on. Shooter fired up here. And a two count. 
And once again, Kaya Storm back outside to regroup. And again, the fans here at Milford getting behind. And certainly not getting behind Pitbull. And again, here's Corlin back up on the ring apron. He's going to get caught out. Watch out. Shooter now. We got a foot race. In and out. And uh, unfortunately, the Shamrock shooter got nailed from behind. Watch out here. Oh, big German suplex. Dropped the shooter right on the back of his head. Now, a legal choke here. Watch out here. Here comes Corlin. 